guys so we can put really uh, long athletic lineups out there. Um, I think that gives us an advantage. Now, outside of the fouling, which Coach Donovan mentioned, what was uh, most impressive to you about the defensive performance that you guys were able to put together? Uh, just the activity. You know what I mean? Um, Coach said, you know, I think he said we gave up. Uh, they took five shots in the deep paint tonight, which is, you know, speaks to our, uh, our health defense and our rotations. Um, that's something we drill every single day. We take pride in because obviously that's something you don't want to give up. That causes all sorts of problems for us defensively. So, you know, for this being so early in the season, and that's what we're doing, that's trending really well for us. Josh, obviously, you know, Paul's foul trouble has something to do with your minutes, but did you have any sense you, you, you play some more tonight? Um, you know, I never. I never think about it too much going into the game. I try to just stay ready regardless, you know what I mean, whether it's um, 5, 25, 30, whatever, however many minutes it might be. Um, just try to stay as ready as I can uh, during timeouts, stay warm, because you know, I don't want to be ready whenever the team needs me for however long. You've been you've been guarding a bunch of different positions right now. Do you, do you feel like you're, because you've been playing mostly bigs, 3, 4 in the, in the D League, are you feeling comfortable against you know, those guards that you're having to guard now? Absolutely, yeah. Um, I think the fact that you know I've had a couple of years in the D League to guard a bunch of different positions, um, as well as guard you know such good players in practice like uh, PG, Russ, Mello, guys like that. It, you know, it prepares me for for games. Honestly, practices can be a little harder than games sometimes with the scores we have. So, um, yeah, I feel super confident going out there and being able to guard you know whoever they put me up against. What does that practice time do for you? Like, is that are there things that like Mello does something in a practice and you can think, oh, he did this, and you can translate it to a game? Absolutely. I mean, just learning because, you know, those three guys play so differently from one another. Um, obviously, Russ has the speed. You know, Paul's got the – Paul is just – I mean, he can do it just about anything. He's got a great pull-up game and he can handle the ball. And then Melo's uh, post-up and mid-range game is uh, best in the league. So, you know, that being able to guard all those three guys and um, – see all those different moves that they may pull out. Uh, it prepares you for the game because, honestly, like, there's not a lot of guys who are going to guard harder than that. Can we talked a bunch about the transition you made, more of a power forward tech guy in college, so now having to be a little more versatile. What was the what was the biggest hurdle there defensively? What was the hardest? Just the speed of the game, honestly. Um, the game's played so much differently at the pro level than it is the college level, um, you know, with defensive three and then just all the different spacing, the, the distance for the three-point line mess it changes everything. So. And obviously, you can play against the top 0.001% of athletes in the world. Um, just getting used to the speed, being able to, uh, to keep up with that, to be able to read the plays before they happen, that's been the biggest thing. Taking pop three where they double Ross on the wing, is that exactly what you've been preparing for offensively over the last few years? Absolutely, man. Um, we have such good scores uh, as we do. Um, they draw a lot of attention. So being able to spot it and be prepared for that, kick out from those guys. Um, it's a great shot, shot I work on a lot. Thanks, Josh. Thanks, Thanks everybody. Thanks, Josh.